here's the legend George St. Pierre, former UFC welterweight champion, former UFC middleweight champion, and DC as one of the most decorated wrestlers on this UFC roster. You gotta be pretty amazed at what this man has been able to accomplish without any amateur wrestling credentials to speak. Yeah, with no background, the guys that he's been in there with and controlled the wrestling exchanges has truly been unbelievable to watch. I was in Canada when he fought Josh Koscheck and took Josh Koscheck, who's an NCAA champion, down whenever he needed to. But it was also the striking that made him so dangerous. I remember George St. Pierre had this combination. It was a lead jab, a lead Superman jab into the leg kick. Everyone wanted to try and do it, and they say imitation is the greatest form of getting a compliment. We all tried to beat George St. Pierre. And he's got more SPs than you. <laughs> All right, the UFC Hall of Famer Khabib Nurmagomedov get back on the proving ground here tonight. And a new look corner is that has Bula there? Yeah, I mean, Hasbula is in the corner with Habib. Habib loves him. He's always talking about him. He spends time with him. But the one thing is, while Hasbula is there, Habib Nurmagomedov's approach will not change. This guy is an absolute grinder, man. He is just a dog. He will go forward, get in your face, hit him. You will not deter Habib Nurmagomedov from accomplishing the ultimate goal, and that's keeping that zero on the right side of his record. And if you're Javier Mendez, you just got to make sure that you let Hasbulla get in there between rounds. Little guy's yeah. got a lot to say. <laughs> For the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, George Rush St. P. Yeah! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC lightweight champion, and the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, Habiba the Eagle, Rimagomeda! Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Well, there's just a special feeling in the building. At the beginning of every round when George St. Pierre is fighting, and even if the prevailing wisdom is that he wants to get this fight to the ground, every MMA round begins on the feet, and this just in, George St. Pierre's got a pretty good jab. We'll see if he can put it to good use. Nice. Oh, you go here. Nice transition from the underhook into the single leg to get a massive takedown. And those slams really go a long way with the judges. Huge authority behind that takedown there. Right, early action here. We'll see how soon George St. Pierre can get one of his patented takedowns, but it all works out for the jab. But just a little. You can see jump. Khabib swelling now around the jaw area, so we'll keep an eye on that as this fight continues. Oh, he escapes! He got out! I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. 
great defense by the defensive fighter. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Good movement defensively here on the ground by St. Pierre. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Keep moving those hips until you get your guard back. Yep, got to be very careful there. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side. Underhook, this is a great position for a top fighter. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Oh, he bails on the submission now. Making all these shots count. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Takes his back now. Under two minutes to go in the round. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. Oh, effective utilization of the ground and pound here by Narago Meta. Looks as though he will let his opponent stand back up. Yes. In the clinch. All right, so perhaps he's going to... Oh, he's stuck in a guillotine. Oh, he gives up on the submission now. We'll see where he goes from here. Oh, huge elbow. Great submission defense. <laughs> 45 seconds remain in the round. This is a terrible position. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Hey, scramble, get up. Scramble, scramble, get up. 20 seconds left. Habib's in half round. Lands with the ground and pound. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. St. Pierre's looking to pass out of the uh, half guard and attain uh, side control here, but unable to do so. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight is going to be stopped due to the swell. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's All right, it. second round underway. Well, you don't want to say Khabib has fallen in love with his striking, but he certainly is boxing more than he did early on in his UFC career. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Trying 
Wong stayed committed. He told us before the fight, at some point, I'm gonna be able to take him down, and that's exactly the way it played out. Nurmagomedov's in half guard now. Oh, that's how you do it. Postures up and lands to the head. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. All right, side control now. Now he's going to pull him out. He's got to be careful here. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Hard ground and pound shot there, and yes, it was hard. Opening right up. Man, how fun is this to watch? As oh! That was a slick transition. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by St. Pierre. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Nermako Medov's got him in a crucifix. Going to work from the top now. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it's it, it no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Nermako Maddox back in full mount. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. He's having his way with him here. In the half guard. Nice defense. Well, now that cut in the eye area, Daniel, becoming a major storyline. He's got to be careful. He's got to be very careful and address it right now before it gets to the point that there's nothing you can do about it. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Nermanko Medov's got him in a crucifix now. Going to go to work from the top. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage. And neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing an amazing job. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of the game. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. All right, so he lets go of the submission now. He let go because he saw that he was going to lose his position. you got to maintain dominant position when you're in a fight. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Two rounds in the books. All right, there's the end of the round, and hopefully not the end of the fight. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe gash on his face. Just do not focus on the blood. Don't worry about the cut. Just protect it.
Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over this 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows, and he wasn't moving his head well. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target, and his opponent opened up a nasty cut on him. He has got to move his head to limit the damage that he's taking. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. Head off the center line, slips the punch. St. Pierre's cut, not getting blood in his eyes per se, but that is a huge gash on the cheek. Kind of looks like a slot machine right now. And if we get in between rounds, the ringside physician and the cut man are going to have their work cut out for them. Oh, going for the takedown here. Great job getting that kick home. Nice body kick. Oh, now he lands a shot to the leg. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high. Locked in his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes on top. Magomedov going for the takedown here. Nothing doing there. Right. It's getting really hard to watch him. Oh. Little judo throw there to take him down. High praise, I would think, from the Olympian DC. Nicely done. I mean, it was beautiful. The way that he stepped across, got his hips in and started driving into his opponent. What a phenomenal technique. Great position. Great knowledge of knowing how to manipulate someone's body. Attempting an armbar here. That submission was tight. Oh, he's got a strong grip on that arm. He starts to start in the elbow. No way. He got it. This is a guy that never gives up on himself. He was able to clear his head, defend the armbar. The fight looked done. But he loves to fight on. Well, this UFC fight is sort of dissolving into a horror movie. I don't need to see any more damage inflicted. You don't have to lose everything on one night. His corner can stop the fight now, and he would be mad now, but he would appreciate them later because it will extend his career going down the line. Oh, my goodness. That dark shot is very tight. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. There it is. Now he's going to bow. Nurmago Medovs in half guard. Oh, nice. Now he's got a good body position, yo. Well, he's got his back now. St. Pierre's able to flatten him out. This could very well be the beginning of the end. Get the ball here. He's got to find a way to get back to his feet. Good work from the top here by GSP. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment. Yep. While St. Pierre's cheek is just leaking blood all over the octagon, that gash is absolutely terrible. I might have even caught his jawbone there, I'm not so sure. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Blob! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. When you get in a bad spot on the ground and you want to reverse it, that's what you need to do. Master class in changing position. Unreal to see. Nermago Medov is attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Oh, good defense, yes. Right into side control, upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten the out and just go for the finish. Right back. 
Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nurmako Meta. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Final seconds of round three. Fight back! Fight back! And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, heading back to the corner now, and St. Pierre's eye is in rough shape. I mean, I would just probably quit but he's not gonna do that, but I would not be surprised if the ringside physician did come in and take a look at that here between rounds. All right, DC, we got a few clips of the damage done in that round, can see where things really started to escalate. Yeah, really opened up that cut, John. The blows are just devastating. He's gotta get out of the way more. I mean, if this guy won't do it himself, somebody's gotta help him, yeah. because you cannot keep taking these types of shots. Ready to fight, ready. All right, here's round four, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by GSP. Oh, good block there. Tries to mix in a takedown here. and forth we go. Oh, he did a great job of rolling. Oh, you go here. How about the speed with which he is able to just toss his opponent to the mat? The moment they came close, he knows. I got a fire in my hip, load you up and throw you. That's exactly what he did. Great ground and pound by this man. Good job being a threat off your back and not allowing your opponent to get comfortable. Oh, another blow lands on the cut. Critical situation now. He's a bloody mess. St. Pierre's in half court. I mean, these wrestling transitions are beautiful. These guys are really getting after it. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nurmagomedov. Another strike gets through from the top position. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Just over three minutes to go. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Nurmagomedov. Another ground and pound strike lands. Look at him, he sent down the choke now. Look at that, he sent it up. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by GSP. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Khabib's in half court. Great defense by this fighter. Push him off. Push him off. Less than two minutes now to go. Oh, right into Mount. The swelling is starting to show. He has been beaten up from the top. He has got to move. Nice strike lands from the bottom line. Good work with the ground and pound here by Nirvago Medov. Can't get it. 
Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You got to be careful. Under a minute now to go in this one. Well, St. Pierre's eye is essentially swollen shut at this point in time, and I'm not sure there's any end swell in the building that's going to open that eye back up. They might stop this fight. Oh, these are some serious power punches from the top by George St. Pierre. All right, try to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. 30 seconds to go on the rack. All right, ref has called a break to the action here, likely to call in the doctor to look at that cut and a lot of blood donation going on right now. And for as fun as this fight has been, I can only hope that the position still lets this guy fight. He wants to fight. He wants to continue. Let him go. <laughs> He's looking. Yeah, this is over. Yeah, yep, that's the end of the fight. You knew. You knew it was done right away. So the ringside physician has no choice but to stop the fight. The fans don't like it, but that fighter will live to fight another day. Here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight. He played the winner by TKO, Khabib, the Eagle, Hermano Mena. All right, so another huge result for Khabib Nurmagomedov tonight. Certainly was at his mauling best, the conditioning on point as usual. And once again, Khabib proving too much for whomever the opposition is. He just attacks these guys in a way that they can't really keep up with. What a great fighter, Khabib Nurmagomedov, but it's all based and rooted in the preparation. No one prepares harder than the Eagle, and tonight he showed why he's one of the best lightweights in the world.